Hi. Let's learn about IRS Form 8949, Sales and Other Dispositions of Capital Assets. IRS Form 8949, also known as Form 8949, Sales and Other Dispositions of Capital Assets, is used by individuals and businesses to report capital gains and losses from investments for tax purposes. This form is crucial in determining the net gain or loss that is then entered on Schedule D of IRS Form 1040. It reconciles the amounts reported to taxpayers and the IRS on Form 1099-B that brokerages provide annually. According to the IRS, individuals, partnerships, corporations, trusts, and estates can file Form 8949 to report short- and long-term capital gains and losses from sales of investments. Additionally, corporations can use Form 8949 to report the sale of stock of a specified 10% owned foreign corporation, adjusted for the dividends received deduction under Section 245A, but only if the sale would otherwise generate a loss. To file Form 8949, individuals, partnerships, corporations, trusts, and estates must complete both Part 1 and Part 2 of the form, which deal with short-term and long-term transactions, respectively. Each asset sold must be identified along with its purchase and sale date and its purchase and sale price. The information recorded on Form 8949 can be found on Form 1099-B provided by brokerages once a year, which reports the cost basis of buy and sell transactions. All the pages of Form 8949, Sales and other dispositions of capital assets are available on the IRS website, making it accessible for individuals and businesses who need to file this form for tax purposes. No, a taxpayer with capital gains or losses to report must file both Form 8949 and Schedule D. Form 8949 displays a list of every transaction, including its cost basis, its sale date and price, and the total gain or loss. The total short-term and long-term gains or losses are then used on Schedule D to determine the total amount of capital gains taxes owed. Here are three key takeaways. 1. IRS Form 8949 is used to report capital gains and losses from investments for tax filing. 2. The form includes Part 1 and Part 2 to separate short-term capital gains and losses from long-term capital gains and losses, as they are subject to different tax rates. 3. Users of Form 8949 also need to complete a Schedule D and file a Form 1099-B, which is provided by brokerages to individual taxpayers. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.